Last day in Koh Lanta. The girls have gone off to do some snorkeling. I can't go with them because of the cast. I mean, I went in the water the other day. It took like three days to dry and it was uncomfortable the whole time. So I said, I'll give it a miss. I came for a, a run on the beach. Thought I'd get a bit of exercise in. It's just started raining. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but this is one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I'm jogging on the beach in the rain. It's amazing. It's great. I can't get over how great this is. It's so hot out here and the rain just cools you down that nice amount that's not cold like back at home. The sea looks amazing with the, with the rain in it. You won't be able to see it. Also feels a little bit epic, like there should be a, a rocky montage or something going on. It's really raining now. Oh no. Struggling to record because of the rain. I've already got my iPhone on me. This guy's bonfire got put out, look. Carry on probably for another half a mile and then make my way back. I've set myself a goal, which is, there's a stick right there, sticking out of the ground, just past those palm trees. And I'll make that my halfway point. I just lost my iPhone, it fell out my pocket. I had to go and search for it in the sand. We're okay though. This is the best thing I've ever done, without a doubt. Oh, apart from this one time, when this girl. At the halfway point, see those sticks. Right, this is what it's about. If you're thinking about traveling and you think you can't, it's too much of a, you know, it feels like just a big idea, something that you can't, you can't actually achieve and get there. I want to say it's not true. I've been here two weeks now. Three weeks ago I was at home saying I haven't got enough money to come. Had a broken wrist. Told by the doctors not to travel, to postpone for three months, let my wrist heal. Uh, told by everybody I haven't got enough money to survive. All of that might have been true. Maybe I should have waited. I should have made sure my wrist was healed properly saved up a little bit more money, planned it a little bit better. But two weeks on, and I'm jogging on the beach in the rain in Koh Lanta, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. There's not much more I can say. If I'd listened to all that advice, and I'm not saying I'm right because, because it's worked out so far and they were wrong. That's not true at all. But if I'd listened to that advice, I wouldn't have done water soloing. I wouldn't have seen Penis Cave or the other islands that we went on a tour to. Swam in the sea, the warm sea for the first time. It's the first time I've ever swam in a sea. You know, gone up to this deep, like, or I don't know, 10 meters deep, swam in open water. First time I've had to swim against a current. Yeah, I did it all with a broken wrist. Maybe that is irresponsible, but still some of the best memories I've got. And like I say, right now, this makes me happy. Look at my scenery. I've got up, I've gone for a run on the beach in the rain. Jesus, there's a bonfire in the background somewhere I can stop and have a, a coconut if I want to. It's a, uh, I've got to wrap this up. I don't really know what I wanted to say. Just guess I want to kind of, uh, just guess I kind of wanted to capture what I'm feeling right now. And that's no regrets. It's a uh, 100% happy I'm here. Yeah, I miss my family. You know, I speak to them in this day and age. It's not, it's not like traveling 20, 30 years ago. I can speak to them every day if I want to bit of planning ahead for time differences that's that's something we had to learn it's just great
I ran further than I realised because if you look behind me, my results the other side of that bit. Wait, that bit because I can't see it yet. So I better get running. This place is called Cloud Nine Indian Foods. So, I don't know what else I'm gonna to record today because I'm not gonna do much. So if I do put something up, it may just be this video unedited. Me saying, I'm in Koh Lanta. It's raining, it's off season, so it's quiet. And I'm happy. Just some wild dogs. They just run stray around here. These ones are just on the beach. They look quite well maintained, which makes me think they're, oh no, this guy's ill. I was running and they uh, ran after me. I don't want to run again though, because you know, dogs usually chase you when you run. Let's see what happens. They're sticking quite close to me, I don't know why. If I go this way, they come this way. And if I go this way, uh, yeah, they come this way. Maybe I should stop. Okay, I stopped and they, I'll, I'll. Yeah, they don't know they stopped. I think, I think I've got two new pets. I'm gonna run and see what happens. Uh, I feel bad, I wanna stroke them and say hello, but I don't know what they've got. Probably wise not to, I guess. Whoa, hello. <laughs> you come close that time, didn't you? Still can't see where I started. So I'm just strolling back now. Rolling back on the edge of the sea because that did wreck my feet a little bit. Oh, hey, there I went. Okay, I'm nearly back. Woo. 